Good luck with the pilfering. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. It's the Feast of the Census spell I once used to make La Esponja Grande big. I need to find someone who can help me reverse the spell. Hi, Caleb. Oh, hello again, Dry Rub. It's Guybrush. That's what I said. How did you say I could close the rips in the crossroads? If you sacrifice your last shred of life in the main tear, that should do it. But like I said, then you'd be stuck on this side for good, and the Chuck would be free to do what he wants on the other. Can you help me reverse this spell? You said you were a connoisseur of the occult, right? Beast of the senses. Trying to watch your figure, eh, Porky? What? No, it's not for me, obviously. It's for... Don't worry, carnivorous wood. Oh, come on. That doesn't even sound like three wood. Losing weight is easy if you follow a strict diet. Here, try this. No, I don't need a diet. I... Never mind. Hmm. Diet of the senses. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A sound so petite it is barely heard. A light touch for an appetizer, stay true and thrive. A delicate feather plucked from a bird half alive. Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. Fight the smell of the after dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. To keep off the weight, you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. Hi, Galeb. Oh, hello again. You wouldn't happen to be keeping a secret that you'd like to share with me, would you? A secret? Yes, I think I have a secret, but you cannot tell anyone. What is it? Well, just between you and me, I think I may be just a little bit off in the head. True, but that's hardly a secret. See you later, Galeb. Sure. Anything's possible. Welcome back, friend. Take a look at this. Nice find, friend. Did you steal that yourself? I did. I snatched it right off LeChuck's belt. Hmm, I trust that you did. Yeah? What if I told you that I stole this from a three-headed mermaid who had come here from the future riding a giant space turtle? I trust you, friend. If you say it's true, then I believe you.
That doesn't need to be charmed. Nice secret you've got there. Care to share it with me? Hmm. Normally I wouldn't trust a thief like yourself, but there is just something about you. Oh, that's just the enchanted voodoo charm talking. What? Oh, nothing. Good luck with the pilfering. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. Pirate thief stole my voodoo trust charm. He's good. Hmm. Diet of the senses. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. This blindfold ought to do the trick. Hmm. Diet of the senses. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A sound so petite it is barely heard. A light touch for an appetizer, stay true and thrive. A delicate feather plucked from a bird half alive. Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. Fight the smell of the after dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. To keep off the weight you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A sound so petite it is barely heard. Bon voyage, my barely audible buddies. Hmm, diet of the senses. A light touch for an appetizer, stay true and thrive. A delicate feather plucked from a bird half alive. Hmm, diet of the senses. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A sound so petite it is barely heard. A light touch for an appetizer, stay true and thrive. A delicate feather plucked from a bird half alive. Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. Fight the smell of the after dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. To keep off the weight, you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. One sponge shrinking secret coming up. Fight the smell of the after dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. Fights odor and wetness for the active pirate. And sponges.
Hey, WP. Hold on a tick. I've almost got my stroke back. Talk to you later. Still on your scavenger hunt, Threepwood? You can make fun of me and punch me about all you want, LeChuck. You're right. I can. Thanks. Shoot. Blah! Hey, WP. Hold on a tick. I've almost got my stroke back. I surrender. Take me to jail. For what? For kidnapping my own body. Good enough. Let's go. I've already found the spirit gum, so no. I will not be chewing any more pre malthified gum. A taste so bland there is nothing to savor. This ABC gum should fit the bill. Hmm, I guess I'll head back to the bar. How about a towel, sir? Thanks. Back in my regular digs, only slightly worse for wear, considering. To keep off the weight, you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. Here you go, sponge. Chew on this for a while. Uh-oh. I hope that's not an ingestion. What? Ah, don't you think what you did can't be undone? Elaine will be my demon bride, come hell or high water. Guybrush, how? The voodoo lady. She brought me back. The voodoo lady? Think of all the peril that woman has put you in. You've been blindly led around by her for so long, Guybrush. But without her... Attack, my fishy friends! Hit him with the old backward sea slug! Ah, enough of this! This be going on far too long! Elaine is mine, my demon bride, to make me a kingly breakfast each morning, to see to it that my fortress of evil is kept Heidi, in case we have guests over to torture, to patch up all my worn out tattered socks. And uh, that's my Laney Poo. You're right, sweetie. He doesn't give you much to work with, does he? Uh oh. <clears throat> Excuse us a moment, Guybrush. The wifey and I need to have a little private talk. Whoa! A futile, if admirably treacherous gesture, my buttercup. 
even without La Esponja's help. I've already sucked up so much power that I can simply step into the crossroads and take as much voodoo energy as I desire. <laughs> you see, you can temporarily destroy my body, Elaine, but you cannot damage my spirit. Oh, my spirit! Take that, you big, ugly, undead voodoo stealing bunch back toad! Oh, Morgan? Well, what are you doing here? And where did you get that sword? Look, we can kill a Chuck, but we have to find a way to take him on in both the physical and the spiritual plane at the same time! Do what now? Look out! Ah! I'll be back for you, lass. Lachuk! <laughs> Think of all the times you've tried to destroy me. Ah, uh, <laughs> to be fair. Ooh. Ow. All that pain, all that suffering. Now just imagine what I'm gonna do to you, Sorry, Pod. Oh. Guy brush. <sighs> Leads down to the wheelhouse. LeChuck, ah, oh, you've kidnapped Elaine. You've strung me up in lame traps, zapped me with a voodoo doll. You've tried to force me to be your undead slave, but never tried to kill me so brazenly. Which is the greatest mistake I ever made. What? Mind the drop. Oh. <clears throat> A bunch of barrels containing God knows what. Uh, they're locked up tight. Away from your limited vintages of grog. We'll crack open the finest over your shriveled corpse. You always wanted to be a pirate, isn't that right? Oh, or a fireman. Or an astronaut. Ah, uh, you know. You're not a real pirate until you've had the plunder and pleasure of being keelhauled on this ship. Many a crewman has seen the underside of this ship, but none were as sniveling and sorry as you! <laughs> Did we enjoy our little swim? <sighs> Refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> you look spent, Swabby. Perhaps you ought to rest a spell. Off to your quarters. Whoa! There's a part of me that imagines LeChuck's cabin with pastel walls. <laughs> it's so cute, watching my dear Elaine swing that sword like she knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of ye barnacle brains? Ah! Oh! Oh. Down to the wheelhouse. <laughs> Try to fly away, little peepwood. Ah, it's a giant demonic cannon of doom that would be just big enough for me to. Hiding. Do 
you know what's so great about this? Ah, we're both getting our cardio in for the day? The simplicity. It's just you, me, my ship. Elaine. And no voodoo lady. By Blackbeard's boots, I hate that woman. Now I think it's time for you to swab the deck. about Morgan, Guybrush? What? That sultry sea minx had it for Threepwood. Her corsair sailed for only him. A pity I had to kill her. But now they can kindle their love in hell. Ah! Sail filled with the ill winds of. Oh, oh, forget it. All this getting punched in the face is leaving me feeling unmetaphoric. I've always wanted to try this. I'm Guybrush Streetwood! Mighty Pi. Ooh! Whoa! Oh. A bunch of barrels containing God knows what. They're locked up tight. Away from me, limited vintages of grog. We'll crack open the finest over your shriveled corpse. A bunch of barrels containing God knows what. Ugh, they're locked up tight. Away from me, limited vintages of grog. We'll crack open the finest over your shriveled corpse. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Acrobatic skills are waning. How I can't wait for you to give up and just go away! It's a giant demonic cannon of doom that would be just big enough for me to hide in. How I can't wait for you to give up and just go away!
Uh, I like mine better. There's a part of me that imagines LeChuck's cabin with pastel walls. <laughs> mm. Does Elaine know about Morgan, Guybrush? What? That sultry sea minx had it for Threepwood. Her corsair sailed for only him. A pity I had to kill her. But now they can kindle their love in hell. Ah! Ah! <sighs> Why are you doing this? I'm tired of putting up with you. And I just love the sound you make when you hit the deck. Oh. No use. My hook won't fit in this lock. Inspecting me hull for me. Oh, it's full of holes. We should really take her into port. Get a nice mug of grog. Ugh, talk about the good old days. I think today will become my good old days. Stop it, you monstrous maggot mating ground! <laughs> Elaine, not even you and your flimsy sword can stop me now. Watch me try! It's so cute, watching my dear Elaine swing that sword like she knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of ye barnacle brains? Ah! Oh. Acrobatic skills are waning. How I can't wait for you to give up and just go away! the chuck but we have to do it when he's crossing between worlds i'll try to lure him across you stab him with the cutlass i'll fight tooth and nail for you guy brush oh. 
It's a giant demonic cannon of doom that would be just big enough for me to hide in. How I can't wait for you to give up and just go away! Mine better. Uh, I like mine better. Rawr! Does Elaine know about Morgan, Guybrush? What? That sultry seeming added for Freepwood. Her corsair sailed for only him. A pity I had to kill her, but now they can kindle their love in hell. Ah! Ah! Acrobatic skills are waning. How I can't wait for you to give up and just go away! You be careful! Ladykins! 3 B. I'm gonna try to lure LeChuck into the crossroads again. So, if he kills me again, you got this covered, right? No problem, babe. <laughs> Quit making a mess! I'm gonna swab my deck with your scraggly excuse for a beard! Seesaw. Let's see. Huh. It's so cute watching my dear Elaine swing that sword like she knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of ye barnacle brains? Ah! Oh. Ah, uh, it 
it's a giant demonic cannon of doom that will be just big enough for me to hide in. How I can't wait for you to give up and just go away! Seesaw. Let's see. Huh. Trying to blast yourself to safety or blow yourself up in defeat? Elaine! Die, Brush! I like the cannon! Yes, dear! Ah, a seesaw. Let's see. Ha. Ah. Ah. So high up. Oh. My acrobatic skills are waning. Ah, it's a giant demonic cannon of doom that would be just big enough for me to hide in. How I can't wait for you to give up and just go away! Pickaroonie! Uh, a little more cannon fire would go great with these multiple concussions. You got it, love! Ah! A seesaw. Let's see. Huh. Chuck's giving me a bit of the business. We need to trap him, Guybrush! Oh, you two can get cozy together when I'm done giving Threepwood his painful and permanent farewell into the afterlife. Ow! So high up. Oh. My acrobatic skills are waning. How I can't wait for you to give up and just go away! Ladykins! Again. I'm on it, sweetie. Ah, a seesaw. Let's see. Ha. Huh. Ah. 
Ah, I'm back. Again. I'll keep attacking Lechuk as much as I can! Uh, Morgan? Uh, my hook's got better uses than that. Only way. What? Yeah. You. Yeah. <laughs> Is it over? Hello? Did we win? I guess we did. Hmm. Uh, the center of the crossroads. Guess I'm stuck here for good now. Well, it worked. La Esponja is grande no more. That's not going to work. Nah. That doesn't help. That's not going to work. Courage, anchor, direction, sacrifice. Place these things in a ring at the center of the crossroads. Ah, clever. Wow, what a rush. Hey, my hand is back. Oh. Guy rush. Oh, it's about time. It is? You were expecting me? But I was dead. 
Is that why you gave me... You should know enough to trust me by now, Guybrush Threepwood. But you asked LeChuck to make you a demon bride. How did you know I would be able to bring you back from that? After all these years and all of our adventures, two things are certain. That I always have a plan, and that Guybrush Threepwood will always come for me when I need him most. That's my plunder bunny. Well, the important thing now is that LeChuck is gone. For good this time. And you are finally free from whatever fate was planned for you and LeChuck. And that's what this whole Esponja Grande thing has been about, huh? Actually, it's pronounced Esponja with an H sound at the end. Really? But we've all been saying Esponja. Yes, I know. It's been bothering me this whole time. I'm just telling you because I don't want you to look silly.
So, my child, have you done as I asked? I have. Now for your end of the deal. Yes, your actions have influenced your fate. I will allow your ghostly form to return to the physical realm to carry on as a fearsome pirate hunter. Ghost pirate hunter, Morgan LaFlay. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Perhaps. You have chosen your own fate. Now go. There is much work to be done before the tides of destiny shift again. Ha, ha, ha.